Hi everyone and welcome to a live trading session, uh, February 20. My name is Enad and I will show you again live trading. Yesterday we had Australian dollar yen at 22 profits reaching our target and I hope that today's uh, trading session will also be successful. So before I start, uh, risk disclaimer first, foreign exchange trading carries a high level of risk that is not suitable for all investors. Please keep in mind that everything you see here is my personal opinion only. Educate yourself on the risk associated with foreign exchange trading. And of course, if you're in doubt, seek uh, an advice from an independent uh, financial tax advisor. So uh, on these web addresses, you can always sign up for more educational uh, live trading and trading videos. So we will be fast because we already have a uh, market running. So uh, market is waiting for the FOMC decision, but uh, now we don't need to trade the euro dollar because it will be definitely uh, moved by the FOMC today, FOMC meeting minutes, seven o'clock GMT time. So now we are uh, going to actually uh, trade. Uh, let me just check. Uh, the, we will add uh, now one more pair here. Okay. And uh, we have a setup. I have just received. Okay, that is it. Australian dollar Swissy. That is the market that we are going to trade today. Here it is, guys. Uh, rejections. I will actually move it here on my template, trading template. We'll try this, guys. Uh, we have uh, now the zone. So I will actually enter with 0 0.20. Okay, my stop loss uh, will be at uh, 7130. Okay, and 7130 is a stop. Final target 72. Okay, well, let's say that uh, we have like 7210 target here. Uh, the thing is that uh, the Australian dollar Swiss is uh, supported uh, here. We have uh, the POC zone, is the confluence here, guys. You can see it easily. Confluence on here. If the price drops a little bit down towards 7,250, I will uh, enter with one more trade uh, that will probably 0 0.05. Uh, and if it drops a little bit more towards 7,250, 47, I might add uh, again 0 0.05. So it will be full 0 0.3 with the same stop loss. And uh, of course, the target that is 70 to 10 uh okay the question i have from ali hi nana the how about cat swiss it gave by signal uh yeah let me check the cats uh, we see okay cat swiss uh, 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 uh yeah it's also valid trade guys cat swiss it looks like it could go up it's uh, you see it's only 44 pips so it's very very slow it's a very slow pair. I, I might skip uh, this one because we have a trade here. This is T89. But see this, only 44 pips, so 16 pips. It's very, you know, if it gets to the target, it's this is full price projection. Only some, let's say, uh, from this spot, it's like 20 pips. I'm not sure. I would rather skip this one. This is the major range. Although, let's see, maybe we can actually go with a long tricky this one mm, but let's see i mean i might actually uh add one more trade because uh here we already have this australian dollar swiss and we still have more room to the upside like 50 60 pips till the target you see and on cat swiss it's a little bit different also my opinion that cat swiss could be moved by the fomc uh minutes because uh it's, uh, you know, because of the dollar, actually, because dollar usually moves uh, counter the CAD, Canadian dollar. So uh, any strength in dollar could be a weakness in CAD Swiss. So our setup might get, uh, might fail. But anyway, this is a bullish setup indeed. And this looks like head and shoulders. So I'm not saying it's not valid. I will still think uh, maybe we can edit and close it before the FOMC. GBP Ori, yeah, we don't have anything on GBP Ori. Uh, we had a signal, I guess, but it's it's uh, a bit far from this spot, 55 pips. So we don't trade GBP Australia dollar. Ali saying uh, he went uh, euro dollar short, took 20 pips with your with my analysis. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, euro dollar was good for counter trend, indeed. 
So here, uh, let's see, we have the Australian dollar SVC. Maybe, maybe, maybe I can add CAD SVC. Let me check. Yeah, I will open 0 0.20. Lots. Okay. Okay, that's it. Uh, just give me a few seconds, guys. I will also open. Uh, uh, yeah, I will. I think that CAD SVC could actually go more to the upside. Uh, let me just give me a few seconds. Okay. Uh, uh, I will add. So, um, okay, cats we see is our trade. So, cats we see, you can see here entry 81. Okay, entry is okay, entry is 1.83 to 93. One point again, I will type it correctly. One point. 83 to 93 stop loss is 1.60 TP is full price projection that is actually yeah sorry i was looking at the other pair so cats we see actually i'm interested in cats we see cats we see sorry guys i will type it in we need to be precise with this so 0 0.7585, okay, 0 0.7577 to 87. That is our entry. Again, uh, stop loss will be the bottom here, this pivot point, 75.60, I would, oh, that's, that's too, too low, uh, too, too little stop loss. Okay, stop loss is 0 0.75. 52 yeah i think it's okay and pp will be all ah, right let's go with 6420 but we will protect the profit okay so this would be it yeah okay 6220 final target okay i'm also opening the trade here so cats we see we can trade it give me a few more seconds okay so we are in two trades guys cats we see and stop loss will be added here so we need to add a spread always so i will say the stop loss is actually 70 five yeah i think it is okay like 75 52 i said we need to add a spread so 75 48 and 76 20 okay that's it so two trades running guys uh i am at my full risk limit so i will not add my any more trades of course, uh, this is how we will do trade management, okay? Uh, trade management. Uh, I will move the Caddy Swissy to watch the list here. And we have Australian dollar Swissy. We have Cat Swissy. So for the Australian dollar, if the price breaks this zone, I expect continuation to the target. Uh, you remember yesterday when we have the Australian dollar yen, we also had a similar setup. We uh, protected our trade and it went straight to the target. And yeah, you can see my live account here. Uh, we made some nice profits actually from trading the Australian dollar yen. Uh, the same thing applies now for the Australian dollar SVC. Here we have a potential up move. And if the price gets here, we can uh, close uh, the half of our trade and put the rest to break even so we close uh we close 0 0.10 in this example and put the rest to break even that is 71 63.7 break even plus one regarding cats we see same thing if it gets here towards 7602 then i would again scale out put the rest to break even plus one and ride a free ride towards the target but then again we enter a little bit higher but i I think uh, this could be a nice trade because this is head and shoulders, inverted head and shoulders. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder, and bang, we go up. 
dollar yen short no i am not going to trade dollar yen because it's going up you see ali it's going up here this was a long signal and uh, definitely i'm not going counter the trend now especially because if you go counter trend uh, we will be definitely susceptible to the FOMC later probable profit taking on ec uh, on equities and also on dollar yen. You need to know, guys. Uh, I'm not sure how many of you know one important thing about forex market. Forex market is correlated, very correlated with equities. So dollar yen moves along with Nikkei index, SP 500, and DAX. Usually uh, the correlation is positive. It means that if the DAX is going up, dollar yen will follow. If the um, SP 500 is going up, dollar yen will follow. Same thing applies for a Nikkei index. That's because of the yen. Okay, yen is a risk currency, so it also is a very good measurement of a risk, risk on, risk off. So basically, we don't go, uh, we don't trade, especially now before the FOMC decision. We don't want to trade neither the dollar. Uh, neither the yen where dollar is the base currency even if it's quoted currency i would be careful such as the thing with euro dollar it's also susceptible to dollar that is why you see euro dollar is actually uh ranging it's because of the fomc decision it's ranging a lot it is bullish but it cannot break this this level here so i guess it will be very hard if it doesn't break this level guys this double top here it could drop but I don't think that something big will happen before the FOMC today. That is why I picked the pairs that are not susceptible to those movements, such as the Australian dollar, Swiss and CAT Swiss. I think that really CAT Swiss could also use momentum from this inverted head and shoulders uh, T89 and actually a bullish consolidation here. Similar for the Australian dollar Swiss, it's trying to go up. I hope that it will continue. It needs a push to the upside towards 71.80, 90 uh, here. And then we protect our trade and let the rest uh, running uh, towards our uh, main target. Yeah, uh, Ali, uh, Ali, uh, you have the point. Uh, he says, uh, maybe you, you choose pairs which sh should not be impacted uh much from the fomc yeah i'm always trying to search to scan for the pairs that will not have any uh impact after or before the news and i don't think that the australian dollar swiss will have a huge impact for from the fomc for example in in contrary to the euro dollar dollar yen uh possibly pound yen uh you know those uh, yen uh, correlated uh, pairs yen pairs and dollar pairs so that is why i picked the dollar swiss today to trade so guys, when you trade, you always need to know which pairs to trade, which which markets generally, uh, whether it's uh, there is some big news, uh, high impact news or not. And if there is some big news, you choose pairs which will not have a big impact from those news because what can happen that you are stuck in a range before the actual news happen. If you trade euro dollar, you might be stuck into a price section that is uh, actually ranging and you might lose a trade. So that is why we don't trade euro dollar we are going with pairs that should not have a big impact from the FOMC decision. And again, guys, it's not just the FOMC de decision itself. There is profit taking always before the actual announcement. Also, there is profit taking before the actual news. So you might see some strange two-way price action before the actual uh, news and data kick in. That is why it's important that you do not... Uh, do not uh, cross over your risk threshold. Uh, the question, uh, will there be price action trading school today as well? Well, I will uh, decide, uh, yeah, about the price action trading school. Uh, it could be, uh, if anything changes, uh, I will notify you, but uh, yeah, I mean, it could be. Let's see. I will, I will uh, decide after the webinar. So now it's important that we are focused here. And yeah, I, made, I made a decision after uh, today's trading session. So yeah, you see, I mean, the Australian dollar Swiss is gaining some momentum now. Actually, we could have traded uh, the Australian dollar Swiss also when it dropped here. So now it will be like 15 pips in profit. On this account, uh, it's uh, seven pips. But okay, I'm still, yeah, I will, I will let it go. I hope that it will actually get here so I can protect my trade and put the rest to break even. 
uh, when you trade guys it's important that you always uh, are conservative with your risk uh, because uh, protecting your trade is of uh, uh, big importance if you are not sure what to do you always need to scale out and put the rest to break even plus one if you have any other questions guys feel free to ask uh, if not i will uh, continue with the uh, webinar and uh, we'll actually update you once more on possible profit uh, taking and where we can protect our profits uh, yeah i don't see any questions but of course guys if you have any questions uh, just do not hesitate to ask me mm, anything is if anything is not clear just don't uh, go ahead and ask me okay so everything is clear let's uh repeat once more uh we are in profit on the australian dollar swissy and cat swissy the australian dollar swissy i will uh, i will take profit around 71 uh, in between 71 80 and 90. Uh, i will scale out okay remove the half of my trading profit and put the rest to break even in this example it's 0 0.7163.7 and also the cats we see, uh, if I'm in profit, I will uh, protect my trade around 76, 0, between 76, 0 and 0, uh, 10. Okay, but remove the half of the trade and put the rest to uh, 75, 91.9. That is how I do because we trade on intraday time frames. And usually, guys, on intraday time frames, price is very susceptible to both up and down movement. And uh, if we are not protecting our trades, uh, we might be in a problem that is why i always like to protect a trade if i'm in profit and to put the rest to break even so uh, my other trade is running uh, it, uh, we call it a free ride it's how we traders call it free ride okay uh i don't see any questions so i guess that everything is clear uh well then guys uh i wish you a excellent trading day uh, we are in profit in, uh, on these two trades. I hope that we will get more from this, of course. But as always, guys, when you trade, uh, be patient. Do not uh, risk more than you can afford. And definitely by visiting our webinars, I will give you the address once more. You will be one step closer to your trading success. Thank you once more for listening. Thank you for your comments, guys. Uh, trading session again two live trades yesterday trade the australian dollar yen went in profits now we are in profits in these two trades let's see what we'll have i what we will have i wish you a great trading day cheers guys and as always trade safe